Welcome back to Fashion Files. It's a, it's a show. I don't know if it was in America, but I know it was definitely in Canada. Anyway. Oh man, I forgot. <laughs> Standing right there, the game. If you're a Pokemon trainer, you probably want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? And if you don't, well, you're already roped into this nonsense anyway, so <laughs> I mean, like, what, you're gonna not finish the game? The gym challenge, mate. Remember, we're British. The annual competition where trainers can battle all it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is, you gotta be endorsed if you wanna take part. Which is dumb. Because in other regions, you can just take the gym challenge. None of this fancy garbage you have to do. I know you need to get endorsed and spot. It's a good thing I happened to be past the one minute mark when I swore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see it. And Lee doesn't think I'm up to snuff, but he thinks you're so great and we'll probably just get it. <laughs> So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You better believe I'm gonna talk to that professor. Is that a Rotom phone? Don't, don't pay attention to it. Yeah, I kinda, kinda wanna know what the hell is going on about. I'll teach you the ways, boy. I'm trying to sound like I'm in on a tune. You gotta take part two. Proper, ri uh, proper rival is just the thing I've been training. It's getting growing and stronger after all. You can be just motivated, right? Not like it can motivate yourself and you know, like, I don't know. The, the professor's house is down the way at the end of the route too, so let's head there. Give my team a chance to train up a bit along the way. Even though you were told like five minutes ago on the last episode that, you know, route two uh, uh, is where you need to go to progress and kind of redundant. We don't talk about these things. My bag's heavy, mate, aren't I? Look at that rip. What's up? I'm here to tutorial you again. Yeah, <laughs> here to waste your fucking time. <laughs> Alright, Danny, that's it. It's time we filled in our teams with. Oh, I'll fill you up, right? Shut up, Rotom. Teach you out. Oh god. It's my brother! Someone I like and somebody I don't like behind someone I like. A am I the person you like? No! <laughs> you don't need to catch Pokemon if you got any help of filling that Pokedex. You know, if you want to, like. Sorry, but it seems like we're imposing this on you. Not in some intention. <laughs> Wait, uh, where'd you come from? God, I didn't even get my makeup on. What? Listen, there's nothing wrong with putting on Guyliner. I mean, I know there isn't, but... What the... What? Anyway... Every Pokemon has a type or two which can make it good against some opponents, and poor against others. You know, like you've learned over the course of... the, uh, 21 years you've been playing Pokemon, ever since you were four. That's the reason we want to catch different Pokemon to cover one another's weaknesses. Now let's have a champion time as I show you how it's done. But I really remember that's my catchphrase. So you see, here's a sheep. And it's pretty much just a sheep. This is the way a real champion catches Pokemon. Again, I have to talk like this because I'm like sponsored by like 7 billion other companies and they all expect to know some kind of image. Well, you get the gist. See how, now see how dramatically I threw that Pokeball with just this overarching rainbow pass. Pass into the sheep. I'm kind of lucky that I hit it, honestly. <laughs> Typically, oh, he's trying to show off his balls, ball fondling skills. Did someone say ball fondling? Goes, huh? 
did you can't run from me. I give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. You give me your balls? Yay! I'll give you some fucking balls. High five, Hop. You got it, man. <laughs> it's like... Uh... You know, Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some... Tra almost like they're itching to join some trainers. Same what to say. Or, you know, it might be because they're weak and afraid. But we're gonna rationalize this by s and justify it by saying that they want to be a part of this. You got twenty balls. Hell yeah. Uh, Pokemon your team will get experience points too when you catch Pokemon. Have you had enough of this tutorialing, tutorialist, tu tutus, tu Princess Tutu? Watch that shit. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Oh, oh. I haven't watched it, but I've seen the stuff you've shown me. I'm like, wow, it's very lovely. And of course, I get XP from battle. It's something that you've seen. Like, you've just leveled up, like, twice in the last episode. I mean... Man, we, we're really assuming that you... That you're literally... Three months old, slapping your hands around a controller. <laughs> Alright, I gotta catch loads of Pokemon. Professor is going to be shocked when she sees. She'll be shocked when I show her my electric penis. Oh, Tom. You got problems, man. Fuck you, I don't. I'm ready. It's... How is that? It's a fax. <laughs> it does! What? Oh my god, it does! It Drama. Boop. Hey, Victor. What? Yeah, but wait, it's tail at me. So the, the tail that looks like a brush, it uses that to like steal things. Because <laughs> it swoops it up and stuff. It, it does have a very like, like, like smirky face. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's, it's called like a nicket. You know, you nick something and it's like British. Food. Thieveries. But it involves it, it's a mustache. It's the same thing as a mustache. Yeah. yeah. It's like longer and taller, whatever. Beat up! So beat up's a cool move where um, the more Pokemon you have in your party, the more dip, the more hits it does, so with 14 to 6 it reduces its hits. But this is just one Nicket. Party of one, table for one. Uh, hit my dumb gross bird beak monkey. Why do you have a beak? <laughs> Ugh. Gross. <gasps> Some Pokemon glow like this. And when they have the glowies, I believe on they have the have like... Yeah, like, uh... Uh, like, uh, certain moves that you learn from, like, greedy and stuff like that. And then I think, like, a higher chance of having like, an ability if they have one. And obviously it would be a higher level, too. Like, this is Squobin is level 7. I don't like it. Because it's a dumb squirrel. Yeah, they want to run in the middle of the world. Squirrel. It's almost like squirrels just want to die. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I don't want this squirrel, please. <laughs> There's more to squirrel life than this. Oh yeah, and you get uh, like uh, watts, and well, that'll be explained what the hell those are later. That's the shit I run on, cause you know, get electricity. Uh, <laughs> ha 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 ha. Rotom, Rotom, you need to stop. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
And here we have a schoolboy. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Why is my voice like this? I'm a tiny child. Damn, look at that stats. Mm. I'm a kid this kid's ass. Here's the thing you've seen about five times already. More like 50, but you know. Listen, I'm bad at counting, I'm a schoolboy. I'm only just learning how to count. Boy, the Jesus, that. that actually hurt. Man, when that's huh? really weak. I really don't get all the streaks out whenever I use it on my mirrors. <laughs> Seriously, that one day. And that's a great window cleaner. Oh my god, sponsor me. Sponsor me so I can talk about your shit about your product. I would I would love to just like if I had a company and somebody didn't like the product I made. I would love to like sponsor that person so somebody can talk shit on my product. <laughs> just, just, just talk mad shit. Like, dude, it's practically free money, man. I am in my shirt, whatever, I guess. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. And then I get my ass kicked. Life's a bitch like that, huh? Hey, no more squirrels! You probably don't want to touch them because they're dirty, gross, disgusting squirrels. How can you hear my voice this clearly? I'm like five miles away from you right now. Listen to the sound of my voice! Don't go left! As you see here, here's another tutorializing moment. If you go this way, you're gonna get hit by the trainer, but if you go this way, there's a chance you can avoid it. Alright, cut. Shut up. Uh, over here is something, is something that's freaking disgusting. It's a shootle. It's gross. Look at it. Look at it's dumb. It looks like a deformed squirrel. Just like begging to die, like, please kill me. <laughs> it's like a squirtle on a mud cap had a baby. Thank you for freeing me from this hell. I don't know. I will now go quietly into the gentle night. Man, I remember when trailers were first coming out with this game. And so the female trainer you start out as looks, um, everybody called her Scottish because like the way she dressed looks Scottish. And then when they saw this trainer, like just the British, uh, the last archetype for this game, yeah. everybody always paired them together. And I'm like, Jesus, Pokemon community. It's cute. <laughs> it's, look at it's cute, it's cute. Wow. Cute and strong together in combination. Just like the art, art that everybody made of me and stuff. <laughs> Last Lauren. She's very happy. Now she has this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you probably saw you murderizing her and just like panicking with the poker in her hands. I must put it down. For it begs for death. Oh. Just one more. Master, please don't make me do this. Yes, monkey boy! Do it! Kill me! Spears him with the branch of Thank you! Are we cute or nothing more? Looks like our strength still has ways to go. I don't want it. Oh, uh, oh so. I should probably get another Pokemon. That was my last one. That's her 
I couldn't beat Hawk, but I'm going to beat you. Wait, also, five? Yeah, I know. Well, mostly I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna surrender, you're creepy. But you, you look insane. And I'll have fun fighting you because you're not a freak. <laughs> what? Here's a blip bug. This thing's also kind of weird. It's eyes are like, oh! What in the name? Literally just took the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, drank it, and removed its eyes. I mean, no, those are its eyes with big screen looking things. Oh, that's the worst. Stretched open its head, like, oh! Whoa! Please stop. Oh, it's yeah. this thing, but it's like an actual animal. Here's something more reasonable. And, and easy to look at. It's easy on the eyes. <laughs> Unlike the last. Oh, it didn't have the eyes. I, just, I saw its eyes, but it didn't see any pupils, so I thought this guy was bad. Well, at least I got the chance to battle this time. Unlike last time, when I was like, hey, you're kind of weird, dude. I'm just gonna. Fight me for my brother's love! No. No. <laughs> <laughs> lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. Like oh, I, God, like, not that one. I gotta get my life together. I mean, I'm like six, but. <laughs> You're talking about the present, eh? Right? What is it thinking I want it? You, what are you? I want you potentially. Oh god, I don't want you. <laughs> Hi. Poke okay, it with a stick. It just like picks it up with the stick. <laughs> look at its like. Look at it, 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 its mouth and like its eyes so wide. It's like, oh. oh. It's just, like so impressed by everything it looks like. Oh, it looks at. Oh. Ow. Alright, well. Alright, well. Oh, my special attack fell. Do I really want to catch? I, I'm thinking about it. I've stopped thinking about it. <laughs> my trainer looks like she spends a lot of time doing college papers in the cafe. I thought that was. <laughs> so you look like, you look like someone who would do really nice oh, work in the afternoon. Oh, Jesus, it's a trudel. At last interest. <laughs> I know what happens now! River! <laughs> dive. Dive, 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 look back! Hey, look, there's a professor! Oh, fuck. That gilf's looking tasty. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw you in the river. Okay, please don't. I want to live. <laughs> So, so, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Your goodness, no. No one thing is still full of questions. I'd hope my granddaughter would take over my research, but... You know, she's just... Whatever, who gives a fuck, I guess. I'll just die alone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guess. Maybe you should speak up more so I can fucking hear ya. My name is Brunhelga. Just kidding, it's Magnolia. <laughs> Welcome, young trainers. Let's head indoors. I wanna head inside. Don't you fucking Why, Hop Dude, see you when I was made some new friends. You cheating bastard. <laughs> and you must be Dandelats, or one of the Dandy Clan. A descendant from my. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I trust you received that Bogodex from Sonia. Yeah, she got her hands all up on my business. <laughs> Ignore that. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, please keep ignoring me. I'll find. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right? Not like you've been in this game like three times before already. 
The Professor Magnolia, uh, she's been doing research on the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. It takes proper understanding of it. There you go, like, again, Leon is talking about Pokemon. Also stuttering. Real pot calling the kettle black here because I'm a fucking professor. That's all about Pokemon. What a hypocrite. <laughs> there are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like all the other things I know about Pokemon. <laughs> like how many different types of tea there are made from Pokemon. <laughs> hey, Professor. Do us a favor, would you, and end the episode. <laughs> uh, thank, you, thank you all, as always. Please like, comment, subscribe, if you wish, and remember,